Strongest style 
Especially in the 1800s when the Sears Roebuck catalog came out and people, no matter where you lived, you could order just about anything once you could, if you could save up enough money, uh, you could order just about anything. So being a people that were prone to, you know, liking music, uh, when the catalogs came out and stuff, so they'd have opportunities to acquire instruments that uh, maybe at one time they didn't have. The banjo was an early instrument that was popular because it was easy to make. You could build a banjo pretty simply. It's literally just a... If you had a hoop, you'd stretch a groundhog hide or something over it and make a simple neck, and most of them didn't have frets in the early days, so that was an easy instrument that could be built by people, you know, that didn't have hardly any money. But uh, some of the other instruments like guitars and fiddles, you know, those were hard to make. Uh, so most of the fiddles were passed down or somebody maybe make a crude homemade fiddle or something. But once the catalogs came out in the 1800s, uh, they had access to better quality, uh, you know, factory built fiddles and banjos and some new instruments like the auto harp, which was invented in Germany, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that was one of the in an instrument that maybe somebody could save up money for and, and order through the Sears Roebuck catalog. And so there you got somebody else in the family that can join in with the music. And same way with the guitar, that was in the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s is when the guitar started coming into the old time music more. Yeah, this one, um, <clears throat> oh, of course I forgot the old, the old auto harp I've got that's done in the 1890s. Yeah, uh, Oscar Schmidt. Zimmerman. Zimmerman, yeah, Z oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that an oldie. Yeah. Um, so when auto harps first came out and um, actually, the company he just mentioned, Oscar Schmidt, they're the only ones that are allowed to sell and market the instrument as an auto harp. So when I got this one from a gentleman who's now passed on uh, from Pennsylvania, he had to sell it to me as a dulcie harp, not an auto harp. He actually made dulcimers, this gentleman did, um, Dr. Orthy. And um, the old original auto harps, they had probably about I think I counted 23 strings on it and about five buttons of core bars. Um, and how an auto harp works for the, how many of you have never seen an auto harp before? We're like, what in the world? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how it works, a uh, brief tutorial, is observe the strings. You got 37 of them, and then observe these. You got 21 of these. These are called core bars. So if I wanted to play a particular chord, I press down the button. Old song, and it's fear we break today. I don't think so, not that. Crushing <laughs> hopes that we cherish so dear. As the storm will time pass away, and the sun again shines. Too clear. <laughs> Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It'll help us in every day, it'll brighten our day. And if you keep on the sunny side of Keep on the 
sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of the road. It'll help us every day. It'll brighten all the way if we keep on the sunny side of life. Keep on the sunny side of life. Yeah, sounds good. Straight right. Okay.